There are many Christmas traditions that will get one in a holiday mood. Decorating a Christmas tree, candy canes, consumer credit debt, and of course, mistletoe. Species of mistletoe grow the world over. However, it's not living in earthly harmony with the tree. In fact, it's eating it. Mistletoe is a hemiparasitic plant, meaning its root penetrates the host tree, drains it of its lifeblood, and eventually overtakes it just like alien. This is not a feel-good symbiosis of plants helping plants be plants. Mistletoe is a parasite, and it's a killer. Etymologically, the word mistletoe comes from the German mist, meaning dung, and tong, meaning bough. So in essence, mistletoe means branch of crap. This is because mistletoe is spread by bird poop. The human equivalent would be having a florist shop grow out of one's toilet, which sounds like wacky fun until you get up in the middle of the night and discover your toilet's been murdered. Due to the pervasive conflation of sex and death, kissing under mistletoe remains a popular means by which one may inflict one's lips on a co-worker at the office Christmas party. In this regard, some consider mistletoe to be a Yuletide Spanish fly or a vegetal Viagra. Be assured it's far from an aphrodisiac. Mistletoe is a date rape drug. Its berries are chock full of viscotoxins, which lower your heart rate and can cause you to pass out, thus leaving you prey to the unwanted sexual advances of this guy. Another misconception is that smoking mistletoe will get you high. This theory was developed by people who were already high. Do not smoke the mistletoe. That feeling of euphoria you may experience after a mistletoke is your soul leaving your body. For these reasons, mistletoe is best kept out of reach which is why it's hung high above doorways. You can't reach it, and it's on its way out with the rest of the holiday trash. I'm Daedalus Howell. Merry Christmas.